Yo, what's happening people? I'm Error from ErrorTheProducer.com and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make three different types of bass sounds in the free synthesizer plugin Vital. <laughs> so the first bass sound that we're going to make is a simple sub bass. To begin with, you're going to want to make sure that you're using the initialized preset. Now because this is a bass sound, the first thing I'm going to do is take the pitch of oscillator 1 and bring it down by 2 octaves or 24 semitones. Next I'm going to come over to the phase and unison section and I just want to bring both the phase randomization as well as the detune amount down to 0%. And because we're making a sub bass, I'm also going to take the voices and bring it down to 1 so only one note can play at each time. For this sound I'm going to be using this initial saw wave but I'm going to come into the modulation types and choose the low pass option. From here I can then move this spectral morph knob to the left and this is going to make this saw wave sound a bit more soft and easy on the ear. So now that we've got the fundamental sound for our bass, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some shape to it. To start with I'm going to add a very small amount of attack and this is just going to stop the sound from clicking when a new note is triggered. And for my bass sounds I usually set this to around 0.005 seconds. Next I'm just going to lower the sustain a little bit and I'm also going to add a small amount of release. So now that the shape of our sound's done, the next thing I want to do is just make it punch a bit harder. Now there's loads of ways to do this, but the way I'm going to be doing it today is using Envelope 2 to control the pitch of Oscillator 1. So inside Envelope 2, I'm just going to create a nice steep curve, and then from here I can drag this onto the pitch of Oscillator 1. Next I'm going to right click on the modulation amount and enter a value of 12. And now you'll hear that the start of the sound has got an extra bit of punch to it. I'm going to turn on filter 1 and bring the resonance all the way down and I'm then going to drag envelope 2 onto the cutoff of my filter. Next I want to add some drive to this filter and I'm going to set this at around 12 dB. So that's everything we need to do in the voice tab, now we're going to head over to the effects section and get this sound finished off. So I'll start by turning on my distortion and I'm going to leave this on the soft clip setting and just increase this drive until I find a sound that I like. And lastly, I'm going to turn on my compressor. I want this left in the multiband mode and all I'm going to do here is decrease this high band to around minus 15 dB. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this sound. So let's take a listen to how this sub bass sounds in the context of a full beat. I think while we're on the subject of vital presets, now's probably a good time to let you all know about the brand new vital bank from Patent Sounds. The Luminance bank is out now and contains 50 presets for the free synth plugin Vital. These sounds are split up into different types like keys, bells, winds, synths, and more. There are two versions of the Luminance bank. The light edition is going to be free to download and will contain 10 presets as well as our very own Luminance Vital skin. And the full version is going to contain 50 presets, our Vital skin, as well as 10 MIDI files that were crafted around specific sounds from the bank. So let's take a listen to how some of the presets from this bank actually sound. If you'd like to grab a copy of the Luminance Bank, then I'll leave some links to both the light and full versions in the video description. And remember to tag us on Instagram with any work that you make from the pack and we'll be sure to repost it too. We hope you all enjoy the pack, now let's get back into the video. Next I'm going to be showing you how you can make a respace. 
These types of basses are perfect for breakdowns and also for lower energy parts of your track like verses and bridges. And again, to start this one off, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're using the initialize preset. Next, I'm just gonna come into the wavetable editor and bring this first harmonic down a little bit. Next, I'm gonna come up to the pitch of my first oscillator and bring this down by two octaves. I'm then gonna come over to my detune settings and set this to seven voices and I want my detune amount to be somewhere between 10 and 15%. Again, I'm gonna come down to the global voices setting and bring this down to one so only one note can be triggered at each time. And just like that, we've got a nice start to our re-space. Next, I'm gonna come down to the filter section and turn on filter one and I'm gonna bring the resonance all the way down. Now this detune wave could cause some problems sonically, so I've just turned on oscillator two and loaded up a sine wave. This sine wave is gonna become our fundamental tone and should eliminate any phase issues that were caused by the detuning of the first oscillator. Now for this layer, it's important to have the detune amount as well as the phase randomization both set to 0%. This will mean that all that's coming out of oscillator two is a pure sine wave with no randomization going on. The last thing I wanna do in the voice tab before moving to the effects section is to add some movement to the bass. To do this, I'm just gonna come into LFO1 and select myself a sine wave, and I'm then gonna drag this onto the filters cutoff. Next, I'm gonna enter a value on this modulation amount, and I want this to be very low, so I'm gonna go for three. And now you'll see that each time I trigger a note, the cutoff in the filter's moving up or down, creating some subtle movement. Moving over to the effects section, all I'm gonna be adding here is some soft clip distortion. And now that this re-space is complete, let's hear how it sounds in a full beat. And the last type of bass I'm gonna show you how to make is a Moog bass. This one has a lot more of a plucky sound as opposed to a long and sustained sound. To get this one started, I'm using the basic shapes wave table and I'm just gonna bring the position up until I've got this upward sawtooth wave. I've then turned on oscillator two and inside the factory folder, I've gone for the classic blend wave table. I'm then just gonna take this wave table position and move it up to around 120. Now I want both of these oscillators to be going through filter one, so I'm just gonna adjust that. And I also wanna bring the phase randomization and the detune amount down to 0%. Next, I'm gonna turn on filter one and I'm just gonna bring the resonance up to about 65%. And next, I'm gonna bring the cutoff down to around minus 40 semitones. Now I'm gonna go into LFO one and make sure that my mode is set to envelope and then I'm just gonna draw in a sort of shape that has a little bit of a tack and then slopes down for the rest of it. I'm then gonna take this LFO and drag it onto filter one's cutoff and I'm gonna enter a value of around 50. And yeah, just like that, we have this nice mogi sounding bass. And that is gonna bring us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new from it, then make sure to smash the thumbs up button before you leave. And if you're new to the channel, then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also remember, if you'd like to grab a copy of the Luminance Vital Sound Bank, then I'll leave links to both the light and full versions in the video description. If you'd like to learn how I make emotional UK rap beats, then I'll leave a link to that video up here. Then I'll just leave a random video from the channel down here. Big shout out to anybody that made it all the way to the end of the video. I've been Era. Thanks again for watching and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one.